In today's video, I'll share with you how to register your drone here in Japan, how to get a remote ID, also going to share with you some useful apps and share with you the general rules for flying here in Japan. By the end of this video, you will have the knowledge and the power to fly legally and safe in Japan. Please watch till the end and feel free to refer to this video anytime for reference. Drone laws have changed in Japan since June 20th, 2022. Going forward, all UAVs weighing above 100 grams must be registered to fly in Japan. If your drone is not registered, you can be fined 500,000 yen for illegal flight. If your drone is not registered, can you fly? This is what the law says. The website is left to interpretation. However, this is how I read it. If you are in a defined safe area with a spotter, you can fly without registration. To register your drone, please follow the link in the description below. Once you have access to the site, you'll first have to make a login user ID before you can actually register your UAV drone. Once you have completed all the login information, then you are ready to register your drone. From this top page, what you can do is you can tap on where it says register here, and then go through the steps one through six. It will take about 15 to 20 minutes to complete all the steps. Before you actually go through this process, make sure that you have the following items ready. Uh, have your passport or your Japanese driver's license ready. You also need your drone serial number and your drone model number. If you have a remote tag, you'll need to have all that information ready also. So as you fill out the information, you will come to the part that will ask for your drone remote ID. If you don't have one yet, it's okay to say no. You can always update it later. I went ahead and put no on my registration and it went through just fine. I had no issues. So let's talk a little bit more about these remote IDs. There's not too many remote I, external remote IDs out on the market right now at this time. Now in Japan, there is an external remote ID by a company called TEAD. I believe it's pronounced TEED. It is currently available as an external remote ID and you can simply place it on your drone. So this is the only one that they have released in Japan right now and the price runs around 43,300 yen, roughly, right about there. Next, let me show you some useful apps that you can use when you fly your drone here in Japan. One of the apps that I use is called Drone Maps. It's a geo map that shows you the safe areas that you can fly here in Japan. It's very similar to the DJI map. All the areas that are marked red are places that you cannot fly. In those areas, you need to have special permission. If you're in an area that's no red, you're pretty much safe to fly. Another useful app to have is called Solar Pass. What this simply is, is insurance for your drone. So if you cause damage to anybody, or if you hurt anybody, the insurance will cover it up to a certain amount. It's well worth the price to have just for peace of mind, especially if you're flying your drone professionally here. In Japan. The other app that I like to use with my drone is CapCut. What you do is after you're done shooting you can drop your clips onto your mobile phone and then you can use CapCut to put together your clips and you can use this application to post to your social media. Before you fly your drone in Japan it's important to know the rules. I'm just going to go over some very general rules and I'm going to explain this picture right here because this picture right here pretty much explains where you can and you cannot fly. And the places where you cannot fly, if you want to fly in those areas, you do have to get special permission from the Ministry of Land and Defense. Do not fly the drone above 150 meters. You should not be flying your drone in urban areas. Avoid flying in airport airspace. And if you're in an area that you think is a safe area, however, but there's, there's people, make sure that you stay at least 30, 30 meters away from people. If you do want to fly your drone in Tokyo, you do have to have special permission. Uh, before you can fly your drone in Japan, you have to make sure that it is registered. After your drone is registered, you'll actually receive a number. And then when you receive this number, that number, you'll want to put it on your drone. This is the registration number I have on my drone. So whenever I'm flying or if anybody asks me anything about my drone, I just say drone is registered. It's legal to fly. But even though I have a permit to fly within Tokyo, I still need to contact the right authorities before I fly so they know that I'm going to be flying in that area. Remote IDs can be costly, however, they're good to have, but you can still register your drone without a remote ID. Um, if your drone is not registered and you're flying in Japan, you could be fined up to 500,000 yen for flying your drone illegally. Don't take that chance. Make sure you register your drone so you are safe and legal and clear to fly. Uh, we also covered some apps. The app I use the most, Drone Maps. You can whip it out on your iPhone. You can check anytime just to make sure that the area you're in is safe to fly. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you found this information very informative and 
Good luck to you in getting your drone registered. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on my adventures on getting lost in Japan. So with further ado, let's get done with all this drone stuff and let's go shoot some more videos and have some fun wandering Japan. Peace out, I'll see you on the next one.